Here we take a look at the wife of Kenny Rogers, Wanda Miller. Kenny and Wanda first met at a restaurant she was working at in Atlanta, Georgia. Kenny was on a blind date that didn't work out and he ended up leaving his number for Wanda. After some encouragement from her co-workers, Wanda called Kenny and the rest is history. Kenny was a rare artist where his singing talent spanned five genres of music. He sold over 100 million records, making him one of the most successful singers of all time. His hit song, The Gambler, was made into a TV series where Kenny also played The Gambler. The couple dated each other for five years before getting married. They wed on June 1, 1997 on Kenny's Ranch. Wanda is 28 years younger than Kenny and at first her parents did not approve of the match. Wanda had been married once before and Kenny had four prior wives. Kenny's prior marriages span 1958 to 1993. Three of his prior marriages produced three children. Wanda was by Kenny's side for numerous music award shows. In 2004, Wanda and Kenny had twin sons, Justin and Jordan. Kenny retired from his music career to spend more time with his family. And they said, Dad, what are you going to do when you quit singing? And I said, well, I thought I would come home and spend all my time with you. And they both went, oh, my God. <laughs> so I, I see now that wasn't a great idea. But, I mean, they're, I, I feel, that, you know, I have other children, and I feel like I miss this part of their life. And I didn't want to do that. I want to be there whether they want me or not. It was so cute. South Africa. And we went down there because I wanted them to have the safari experience. So when they're going out, I gave them both a camera. I said, I want you to take pictures of the things that excite you when you get out there. And when we get home, we'll put them together in a book. And you can show your friends at school. I said, oh, great. We came back. They had 150 selfies. Wow. Every, every picture was, <laughs> I think a giraffe got in the middle of it accidentally. Ac Kenny passed away in March of 2020 at 81 years old. He and Wanda were happily married for 22 years. Let us know in the comments if you're a fan of Kenny Rogers. This was a Country Fancast video update. For more country music news videos, remember to subscribe to Country Fancast on YouTube.